Okie dokie, artichokies, and welcome to part two of Secret Rooms 2, the Minecraft map. If you missed part one, I'll leave it linked in the description. And if you missed the first map, Secret Rooms 1, I'll also leave that in the description. As a matter of fact, while you're at it, why don't you just watch every video that I've ever posted? Because it'll keep you occupied for a while. Okay, so, since we last left off, I've continued to wander around the third stage here, and I've determined absolutely nothing, so much so that I decided that I had to go into the hint book and look at the next hint for the Apple Room, which is why now we're at tips used uh, five. So it says, Golden Apple Tip, Riptide Enchantment on a Trident launches the player if they're in water. This will work even in rain or if the water is toes deep, dot, dot, dot. So obviously there were the Tridents over here in the weight re-racker room, but I didn't really think much of them. But I mean, we might be able to just grab them, right? Depending upon if they're, okay, so we can grab a Trident, but it doesn't have Riptide on it. But I'm pretty sure I remember seeing over in the chest room over here, I think I saw a chest where there might have been a Riptide book. I think I might have even gone over it before. I think it was like down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Riptide 3. Okay. So actually that, will work. now we just have to find a way to put the thing on it somehow. Um, and then, I mean, so we could Riptide. It means that there's got to be like some kind of secret place we can Riptide into. Or, I mean, there were puddles of water on the ground over there. There's puddles of water, not in there, but over there, there's some water. So maybe there's something we can Riptide into. Um, is there anything here? I don't know exactly. Oh, wait. I remember, actually. I don't think I was recording at the time. I was just kind of wandering around trying to find things. And I found that there's an anvil behind these trap doors. And we have a chest right here. Right next to it, full of energy drinks. Isn't that cool, dude? We got 32 energy drinks. These should allow me to give Riptide, mad Riptide, to my trident, dude. You just gotta make sure you got some energy drinks in you, dude. Otherwise, you might not be able to do enchantments. Really, all experience is, is just like you being super amped up on caffeine. And that's definitely how you do it right there, is you throw the energy drinks in with the trident, you get the trident amped up on caffeine, and then you're just good to go. Okay, so we have Riptide now, which means I can probably get myself into trouble. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, so uh, we got we got this here. If I just if I just yeet myself into the air. Okay, whole lot of nothing. So let's let's like look around in the ceiling and see if we can find anything. Oh my god, things are just crazy technical now. Like there's no way I'm gonna get anything else without the hints. And even with the hints, it's going to be difficult. Okay, so I'm in here looking around. There's a whole bunch of puddles on the ground. So I'm like, ah, maybe this is uh, uh, the way to do it. Looking up in the ceiling. And then I start playing around with the levers again. Thinking, okay, maybe it's something to do with these. So I flip this one. Makes a piston sound. And then it also deploys the water from back there. And then I look up and it's like, oh, sure enough, there's an opening in the ceiling right there above toes deep water. Oh, what happens if we do this? Oh, hey, found the golden apple room. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I should, you know, at this pace, I, I really should just go into the hint book and look at the last one for the nether star is the only one that we don't have so far. Yeah, uh, yeah, real tricky. Real tricky. I wonder if, um, soul falling potion could help us out. There we go. Enchanted golden apple. Thanks. I'll leave some potatoes in here, although some of the potatoes can be quite helpful. So that's, that's pretty cool. A little bit of dragon's breath, too. Okay, sweet. Thank you very much. Just let me out. Uh, oh, I can just drop peacefully into the water. Thanks. Reach the goal. You need a mint? Yep. Got some dragon's breath, dude. Not a big deal. Okay, so... I'm just I'm just gonna pull the tip. Dude, I was wandering around this level for a decent amount in between this episode and the last one, and I just... I didn't really seem to find anything related to the Nether Star or another secret room. Um, so... Let's see. Chorus Fruit, teleport a player within an 8-block radius randomly if a safe place is found within 16 attempts, the player won't teleport into water. Okay. Well, there's chorus fruit in here, but can I break some of these things? Is there like something that allows me to actually break the chorus fruit or is it just like uh, available? Or is there a chest? Oh, maybe there's a chest that actually has chorus fruit in it over in the chest room. I decided to use my eyes a little bit more in the area around the chorus fruit. It doesn't look like you can harvest them because we're in adventure mode, but then I was like, hey, um, what if I look in here a bit? Oh, what do you know? Somehow I missed that chest. Yeah, 
So, so, so there's that. Oh, hey, chorus fruit. Oh, and then it replenishes. Oh, cool. I can just take a lot of, oh, it only lets me have one at a time. So, cool, I got a chorus fruit, and I don't have a chorus fruit anymore. Wait, what? Hold on. Keeps replenishing, and now I don't have it anymore. Wait, is it if I go above water? Like, if I stand on here, does it get rid of it? Or is it if I, like, walk out of the room? Oh, if I walk out of the water. Oh, okay, so basically what you're saying is I need to use the chorus fruit while I'm underwater? Okay, that was, if I had seen that chest, I probably would have figured that out a little bit earlier, but instead I did a dumb, and uh, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm kind of oblivious to things. But there we go, that'll work. That was pretty cool. I didn't realize that it won't teleport you into an unsafe location, so this being the only one available, it was the only place we'd go into. That's pretty dope, you're just drowning in treasure. I am, I am, dude, all right. Are you prepared to see another super duper level unlock cinematic? I'll try not to use the hints off the bat ASAP Alapagus, okay? Because at least there's five that we can choose from in the beginning. It just gets more difficult as you narrow it down because like you have less that you can be looking for. All right, level number four, the farm. Here we go. And once again, actually, if this is the first you're seeing of this, you didn't catch part one, you're just like, oh, I'll watch it anyway. Um, we're just trying to find secret rooms in each of the levels, which I'm sure you've figured out at this point. We have hints along the way that we can use if we want to um, reduce our dignity, and uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. This seems bigger, kind of worrisome. Like, is, is water, ex okay, I can go into the water. I can go all the way over here. Wow, the scale has just reached unprecedented levels. Oh, I wonder if there's there's going to be something probably where we have to trade with a villager. 100%. There's going to be some like little trick you can do where you trade it and then something happens. Particle effect opens something up. Never mind. I can't trade with you. That narrows it down a little bit at least. Anything here? Anything with... Uh, I almost feel like there's got to be something to do with the maps. Or I could just ruin the whole map if I wanted to be an anarchist. Um, <coughs> what do we have back here? Oh, that's a minecart. That's a minecart right there. I'm pretty sure that's a mine clarin. Okay, so we have something here. If it weren't for the mine clarin, it might not have been quite as obvious, but it means that there's something. There's something we're doing here. I just don't know what. How do I get into the mine clarin, dude? Frick. How do I get behind here? <laughs> I still think I would have caught that there was a sliver sticking out of minecart, even if it wasn't purple. Oh, dang it. I wonder if there's an item. And that's a minecart hopper that it's supposed to feed into or something like that. It's okay, we can keep looking around and see if anything catches our eye. I bet there's something in the grain silo, right? There's gotta be. Is there a way in here? Oh, look at- Ow! Frick! Thought I was getting stung by a bee! Like, we're not in 1.15. No, nothing. There's gotta be. That opens a door inside. Ow! God dang it, I hate berry bushes. God, I keep running into it. I don't know what to do with this. Because somehow it's opening it up, but I don't know, dude. I don't... Mm, stop! Uh, there's a fishing rod just sitting right here. I don't know if I can grab it like a... I can't. Hey, that's probably important. I'm sorry I just yoinked your fishing rod, but it doesn't look like you're using it. So, um, oh, hey. I wonder, I wonder if this has anything to do with our mine clarin in here, bro. What if I could like fish out the mine clarin, huh? That grabbed the mine clarin, but it's not doing anything. What if I, what if I click on the barrel? What if I, what if I click it? Whoa! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Thank you, Mine Claren, for uh, making yourself quite obvious. I appreciate it. Emerald Rune found this. This looks like um, this this looks like something that uh, I remember from that one series at, at one point, the where um, some some activities were going on, and uh, yeah, that's this is a very faithful recreation of the the room from that one series where yep. Oh, I I remember this. I remember it well. I remember it like it was yesterday. What a reference, man. What a reference. Beautiful. 
just incredible work here, dude. Absolutely incredible work. I'm honored. I mean, it wasn't my room, but that was that was a thing. Quality work, bro. Quality work. Okay, what do we got next? So we figured out what the fishing rod does, unless I can freaking fishing rod the button. Nope, it's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work. Let me fishing rod all the things. Fishing rod everything, bro. Unless um, unless I can fishing rod some horses. Come to me, my stallions. Nope, guess not. I could have sworn I went into all the barrels, but apparently I didn't. So we got a shovel. That's probably something important. Charles Shovel. Charles Beloved Shovel. I don't know if that's a reference to something. Considering we have the Mayanite room over there, it probably is, so I'm super sorry for not getting it. See, is that important? Whenever I see- no, I guess that's not important. We got a bunch of mushroom blocks on the ground. But it's like, dude, whenever you see something that's slightly off-colored, it's like, oh, your eyes need to be drawn to it. It's important. So we can't break anything, can it? No, but it is- it's outlining it in black. Oh, you can create additional paths. Ooh, I bet you, I bet you that whatever we have to do is tied into making something a path. Like, we'll be able to, because when it, uh, a path is obviously one pixel lower than the normal height, so it's like, if you do it next to something, and this thing seems to have infinite durability when I use it as a path block, then I would be able to see in somewhere, I bet. <laughs> Just turn the entirety of the... Just turn the entirety of the level into grass paths, he says. It'll be fun. He says. Hey, look. Look, it's out of... It's, uh, it's off color. Isn't that... Isn't that cool how that all worked out? Okay. Well, what do you know? That did a thing. Wait, what did that just do? I made a hole in the ground. Uh... Okay. What do you know? A totem room has been found. Wow, that is a fancy little underground room right there. My goodness. Look at that. Oh my god, it's this... What? Bro. Bro, can we have this be like a vanilla Minecraft thing? Some kind of Zelda looking freaking dungeon where you have an anvil with smoke, particle, campfire effects cascading off of this pedestal here. That is the coolest thing I've, and then you have the freaking item that you're looking for right there, bro. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This, we need, and this could totally be done in vanilla. Can we have this? It's not an anvil, it's a hopper. That's fine, though. We actually need this. Super badly. That's such a good idea. How do you do something so cool and so original? Do I elevate myself back up here? I do. God, that's fancy. God, that's fancy! Braziest. What a freaking genius out here, dude. It's amazing. I just heard a cow inside there. I'm pretty sure. You hear that? Wait for it. Wait. There's definitely a cow inside there. Because it's not it's not anywhere on the outside. Okay. Wait, this might be really fortuitous. Okay, because I I just jumped on a, a wheat thing in here. And it I just jumped on carrots. And I got some carrots from that. But Okay, this is this is gonna be some 200 IQ big brain plays right here if this actually does a thing. What if what if you're supposed to leak? Cause can can a cow detect wheat through a wall? What if you can move that can't this can't be a mistake that there's a cow in there? It's got to be done on purpose. What if? What if I like? What if I can lead? It to, oh wait, it sounds like that's opening a fence gate. What if I can lead a cow through a fence gate from the other side of a wall? This was very wishful thinking, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> very wishful thinking indeed. Okay. Now, it was worth a try. I tried it, boys. I tried. Uh, it's back to square one. I'm so sorry, everyone. I think I gotta, I gotta just do a tip. So what have we got? We got the totem and the emerald. So we'll do the diamond. Filling a composter is detectable. You can also stand in a filled composter. You can also, also, close a trap door to squish yourself inside Stand in the composter, squish yourself, fill it up. Then once the pistons pull you across, either fill it again or empty it to get out. This one was a doozy. Oh my god. You expected me to figure this out without a hint? Wow, it's a good thing I did a hint. Okay, so I need to fill a composter. I also need to find one that has a trap door on top of it. But in order to fill the composter, actually, I just need to, I guess, trample a bunch of crops. So I guess, I guess I was on the right track though. Even if it, 
didn't work over there with uh, whatever I was trying to do with the poor cow that's trapped inside of the grain silo. I hope it's not suffocating under a whole s bunch of hay bales, dude. Poor thing. Poor thing. Okay, how much do I need? I know it takes, like, just a massive, massive amount of seeds to be able to fill a composter, so should probably just have a, a pretty excessive amount of stuff. And then hopefully this, like, works first try. Let me just, uh, trample all the crops around here. Sorry, farmers. Not my proudest moment, but I do what I'm told. Okay, so we need to find any of the composters in here. None appear to have a lid on them. Uh, anywhere, where are the other? Are there other composters? I think there's another, like, over in the barn, maybe? Um, oh, wait. Hold on. Is it you? Yes. Okay, that one has a... There's there's not a chance in a million years that I ever would have figured this one out. Okay, because it's a specific composter, too? Like, you couldn't have just done it with uh, one of the regular ones in there or any of them? Okay, so it said get in? You can also stand in a filled composter. You can also close a trap door to squish yourself inside. That's actually really funny. <laughs> Wait... <laughs> I want to see this from the outside. I didn't know you could put yourself in a box. <laughs> Wait, I want to do this on a multiplayer server as a prank. <laughs> in a composter. Wait, am I filling it inside? Wait. Oh no, hold on. Am I filling the composter? Well, I can't wait. I can't get out of the composter. Help. I can get out of the composter. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So am I supposed to do it? Stand, uh, close the trap door to squish yourself. Stand in it, squish yourself, fill it up. Okay, this is claustrophobia at its finest. Oh my lord. Wait, fill it? There we go. Let's just fill it. I pro- wait, what the- I don't know if it's filled or not. Is it filled? Help! I don't know if it's filled. It must be. That was the bone meal effect, right? Wait. Frick! It said stand in it. Squish yourself, fill it up, then once the pistons pull you across, either fill it again? Or empty it to get it. What? Help! It's not filled yet. Okay, wait. I gotta do one more. <laughs> oh my god. Is it filled? Oh! Ah! What the heck? What the heck? Hold on. Do I have to fill it again? It said fill it again to get out. Oh god. I hope I have enough resources to fill it again. I should, I think. Fill it again. This. This is bizarre. Huh? Wait. Oh, empty it. Okay, yep, no, no way in a million years would I have ever gotten that without the hint very, very clearly explaining exactly what I had to do. What in the world? There we go, thank you, Diamond. All right, so that's happened. Just squishing myself inside of a composter. You know how we do, boys. So wait, how do I get out? This must just, like, launch me back up, but I don't know where the button is. Help. How I, oh, there's buttons right there. They, kind of, they blend it in, okay? They kind of just, they blend... I'm supposed to get launched. Please launch. Thank you. God, that's clever. God, that would be such a cool exit to build for a freaking underground secret base. All right, so I'm still convinced there's something having to do with that button. I just don't know what. And I need to save the cow. All right, but there's got to, there's, I just want to, I'm going to do another tip. I have a 50-50 shot because I don't know what treasure is inside there. But one of them has to do with that. It must. There's no other explanation. I'm gonna do... Is it Apple or Nether Star? I almost don't want, but I want it. Apple. Item frames don't cover a full block, even if a map is on display, and can be clicked through at the right angle when placed on a sign. Try testing this on the bottom middle frame. Okay, well, you actually... You straight up gave me the right frame that I'm looking for here. That's funny, because at the very start, I was like, I can spin the maps around, and lo and behold... It has something to do with the bottom middle, huh? Proper angle. It's probably like being able to click through beyond the banner. Ah, there we go. Yep, like on the Fallen Kingdom one. Aha! Golden Apple Room. Where it be? Well, that basically just leaves us with what I am 99.9% .9 certain is the silo. But what... What about- God, what am I missing? What am I missing about the silo? It has to be this. 
Unless it was all just a big distraction, like he just put that there in order to fork with us so that I get completely caught up on it and be like, why does it open a fence gate? Frick! I don't want to, but I have to. Cows can smell wheat through wall. Are you telling me I had it? I had. Oh. My. God. I had it and it just didn't work? Bruh. Freaking closed again? Are you kidding, cow? I kind of- Oh, it did- Go, 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 go! Hey, bud. How you do- Oh, it was like- Oh, you had to pull it sideways. You had to pull- God! I mean, I can't be mad- I got- I got closer than I- I had any right to get to that. I just didn't pull it sideways. Oh, man! I can't believe it. I cannot believe it, dude. Freaking cannot believe it. Shoot. Well, that's it. I think that was the last one for here, right? I mean, thank you. The freaking last, last chest that I try, of course. Level complete. Don't have to worry about having to get out of here, which relies on the cow walking back onto the pressure plate through the fence gate, at least. Okay. Ah, it's time for the final level, boys. Here we go. Let's get that cinematic unlock going. Watch it rise from the earth. Very fancy. Cool. Okie dokie. The library. Ooh, ooh. It's like at the end of the tunnel, dude. All these are off to the side. This one's just dead ahead. I mean, demonetized ahead. Here we go. Let's check out what it has for us. Once upon a time, there was a boy who found himself in an absolutely gigantic library. Are you kidding me? This is massive. I'm supposed. Okay, well, okay. Here, here's, here's what we obvious. Okay, there's something, something to do here with enchanting a crossbow. I think we've already figured that part out. Uh, question is, where's the crossbow? The other thing is, reading station one, the B movie, page one, two. Wait, is this actually part of the script of the B movie? According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. I haven't seen the bee movie, so I don't know if this is the accurate first page of the script. But anyway, what if I go one, two, however, while cleaning the merchant's RV off, something, something, uh, re revenge. Wait, what was this? What was this one called? Dear Diary. Huh. Bunch of Easter eggs going on here, I'm assuming. Is this... Hold up, hold up. Reaper, aw oh man. So we back in the mine, got our pickaxe swinging from side to side, it's task rolling one. Is it... Does it really take... 13 pages? That's... That's more words than I thought were said in that song. Every single day in the whole night creeps out prowling. Whoo, all right. Look at me, look at you. Take my revenge, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I'm gonna put this on page three, baby. And page four, you knew. Sparkles, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, or maybe you would. What do I know? Worlds upon worlds of wonder have embraced my many new shells. I'm living a thousand lives at once, and those are just those I'm aware of. For instance, in a place called Middle Earth, I am reborn. Bruh, did you, did you copy word for word the freaking thing from... Mayanite? Did you copy it word for word? Oh my lord. I feel like this man's is upset that there's no season three and I'm feeling quite judged here right now. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. This is a story about how my life got turned upside down. So that didn't work. I was really hoping that it, it, it would, you know, one, two, three, four, five, but it turns out the answer is more complicated than that. And, uh, that, that disappoint Guidance, page seven? Maybe I set them all to page seven. Do they all have a page seven? That's the real question. Seven. Seven. Wait. Oh, this freaking, this is from Guard Tom? I didn't even realize. Oh, this was about the frick, the Flyonite with Guard Tom. Oh my god. Oh my god, what has happened? The amount of Mayanite references. Is it seven? It's not page seven either! 
God dang it. We're gonna come back to that one later. Try to find other stuff in the meantime. So we have a chest here with stick and string. And I don't know if that means it, it, it like gets us entry page eight. Wait, were those the names of the, wait, entry page eight, guidance page seven. Hold up, were these, these weren't titled though. I don't know if all the other books around the map give, give clues, cause this guidance, it's not guide, which one is guidance? And hold up. I mean, some of these, it must, it must be like a clue in the title, but I don't know. Nope, still don't know. But I feel like these things have something to do with it. But I just, wait, oh, it's the color. So purple is page seven. That's what it is. Okay, it's color coded. Everyone was just yelling, obviously, like you absolute idiot. It's obviously you just have to match the colors. Which color was this one again? Over here it was. This is uh, like cyan. So cyan is page eight. And I don't remember exactly which one was cyan, but well, now we just have to find the other ones. Reading station two. I think it was this one. Kind of cyan, that was page eight. I think. God, I hope that's right. Well, we can't actually go up the stairs, it looks like. So I guess that narrows down a little bit. And also, there is another chest here. Okay, I think this probably gives us everything that we need in order to make a crossbow. If I can find a crafting table, which has to be around here. So there we go. Wait, wait, wait. What do we got there? Oh, some arrows as well. It's almost like you're guiding me in that direction. Crossbow. Can we, what do I need? I still, oh, I need to make a tripwire hook first. All right, let's make a tripwire hook. And now let's make the old crossbow. And then we're going to have to enchant it with quick charge and multi shot using my many, many levels. But where's the anvil? There's got to be an anvil somewhere nearby, right? Kind of in this area. Or did you hide the anvil? This is a cool enchantment table setup, though. I could just use the enchantment table setup, but oh, I bet I don't have lapis. That's how you lock me out from making a terrible decision that can't be fixed. Okay, so I need to find the other lecterns and I also need to find an anvil somewhere. How convenient. We've got anvils in uh, the statues over here. Okay, so let's see. I don't know exactly what it is that we have to do with multi-shot because it feels like that requires some real skill if I have to hit like three things at once. Could also shoot at the villagers if I wanted to do that, but there we go. Okay, so we got ourselves a crossbow, and I still don't know exactly what I am supposed to do with it. Because, God, me hitting two things at once? Like, it's hard enough for me to hit a single button. But two of them? Are you kidding me? Can I hold on? Can I shoot the librarian? God, I'm so mean. I can't. I can't. Okay, he's, he's very protect- Wait, it's- I just took a shot at Hubert. I just took a shot at Hubert. Oh my god. Can you ever forgive me? I am so sorry. Thank you for using your magical godlike powers to just repel the arrow. I had no idea. I had no idea. No, you're shaking your head at me. I made a mistake. Please, please. I'm so sorry about that. I really am, my dude. Oh my god. I'm really screwing things up here. I'm so sorry. Wait, is this... Wait, the yellow is... I... Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, my eyes fail me. What is it? Page 62, I think. You would. You would throw me to page 62. That must be B-movie. All right, everybody. If you pause really, really quickly, over and over and over, you can read the entire B-movie script. Here we go. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed. Now I just left you hanging there. Dude, you don't even know how the movie ends. God, I'm so mean. Also, there were some more arrows in this chest. Full stack between the two of them. Very generous. Aw, oh, man. I don't know how I missed this one. Okay, page nine. I think we know which one aw man is. Orange, in case we don't remember, but you know, it's nine. And then I, I where the heck is the final lectern? It's gotta be like re fairly obvious, but Whatever. Okay, page nine, and then which is the last one? I think Bel Air is the only one that we haven't figured out. All the others are set to other pages, so 
Come on, man. Just need to find one more lectern, and then I we have this one, 100%. I swear to God, I ran this way so many times, and I never just looked over here. And then we got upside down, page three. Okay. This... Oh, man, what a payoff, dude. This is gonna be the coolest thing ever. What is this gonna be? One, two, three. There we go. Actually, you know what? To be fair, I could have just scrolled through every page one after the other and, you know, one of them would have hit. But it did give a delay, so maybe I wouldn't have waited long enough and then I would have questioned my, my other pages and stuff and it would have been just like, I would have messed everything up, so... Anyway, okay. We got our emeralds. Sweet. I don't know if that does not Close it back up. And we're good. Come on. Open sesame. Okay. So the next thing. I have to figure out what to shoot with my crossbow. <laughs> Sorry. Not going to shoot you, Hubert. That was a terrible mistake. I'll never do it again. I had a feeling there was something to do with this. Because on every level, he's made a block slightly different in the floor if it's important for something. So sure enough, I was like standing here. I'm like, is there something I can do with this? And I look up. And we have buttons up here, dude. We have a trio of buttons. I mean, I figured that's kind of the only thing that we would need a multi-shot crossbow for. And I guess the hope is just uh, that we can do this in 64 tries. Otherwise, we're going to have a bad time. Okay. Let's uh, get it nice and centered. That looks pretty good. And fingers crossed. Here we go. Nope. Oh, I got two of them. I got to, oh, they disengaged so quickly though. Oh, this is tough, dude. This is tough. Ah, uh, slightly off, but God dang it. It seems centered, but, ah, that's super off. Hold up. We can do this, we can do this. I got it. I did it. Yes. Oh, big plays, dude. Yeah. You fired a bow, you've hit a button, but have you ever hit three buttons simultaneously? I don't think so. Bro, this is so sick. What is this room, dude? Watch this be another reference to like my night or something and I'm not realizing it and that's gonna be really embarrassing. Cause it does look like uh, the like heavy, heavy metal blocks that were used in the demonetizable room of demonetizable substances. Look at that freaking nether star, dude. So sick, bro. Okay, let's get back out of here. How do we get back up? Got some buttons. Oh my god, these are the coolest secret rooms that have ever existed in the history of Minecraft. Can I get back up? There we go. All right, cool. All right, see you later. Bro, so sick. Okay, well, since the second floor is off limits, if I run around a little bit more, maybe I can find something else. It's not as big of an area as I thought it was first time. You. What are you looking at, dude? There's nothing weird about this situation, okay? There's nothing weird at all going on here. Don't worry about it. Don't question me. I don't need your smug looks ignoring me as if I don't exist here, making a mess out of the library. I figure that anywhere or there's a wall of maps on item frames and then there's trap doors next to it, there's gotta be something. Go oh, I'm just like rotating the map right now. Don't, don't worry about me. Just, just. Doing some math rotations. It's chill. <laughs> Librarian's like, get out of my library. You're making a mess. So it's just like we could crawl through here while getting us into a uh, prone by the, the map. Um, is in the, it's always front and center, right? Nope, not this. Hey, there we go. Isn't it cool that he made it so that the totem looks like me? That's a cool Easter egg, too. I'm just kidding. That was... That was from my texture pack, just in case you were thinking I was serious. Um, okay, let's get back into prone. and See, that was the tricky part. It did take me a few tries, and I was about to give up. But then I but then I finally, I stuck with it, and it just, it worked. And it was, god dang it. God dang, put the freaking trap door just right directly over it. You're killing me. Cease this. Needless difficulty. I'm never gonna get out of here, am I? I'm never gonna get out of here. God, I must have gotten like actually more lucky on the way in than on the. Oh right, right. That was the trick. Is like you, you just do it the other way, like facing that, and then you're then you're good. Then you're all good. No worries. Okay, sweet. Don't worry. I'm setting it all back to the way it should be. There you go. Okay. Don't look at me like that. Okay, so that's three down. Two more to go. I'm kind of 
starting to run out of steam a little bit in terms of new ideas, so I might hint the next one. I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so what do we got? We've got the everything but the diamond and the apple. So let's go diamond first. The back of a barrel looks very similar to spruce planks. Opening a barrel causes a block update, which an observer can detect. So you're telling me that I have to look around for a spruce block that's not actually a spruce block, but instead is a barrel. Now I'm like trying to remember what the back of a barrel looks like. I guess very similar to a spruce block, but you're you're dark oak, right? You're not spruce. And wait, are you spruce? I'm like questioning everything I know now. Wait, spruce, yeah, that's dark oak. Yeah, that's definitely dark oak. And then spruce, okay, so you're spruce. Pretty much all the walls are spruce. I have to find the barrel somewhere. Oh, I hope it stands out at least a little bit. I was just going around clicking on like everything and luckily I was in this area already and I clicked underneath there and sure oh it's gonna close it back up again but dude it looks it really does look like a spruce that's mean that's why the uh, uh that's why you have the scaffolding here is because it doesn't quite blend in like it's got a few extra little bits but you're concealing the edges that was a very smart way to do it so it doesn't like stand out too much dang dude Anyway, there you go. I was like, I click it all over, and then this is down here, and then boom! All right! Clever. Very clever. And that leads... Yeah, I... There's... I don't think there's any way I ever would have gotten that one if it weren't for the hint. That was, like, way, way too blended in. And, uh... The final one may kind of be in the same boat. So, all right. Last one is the golden apple. Ah! <sighs> I just don't know. Hey, man. You don't want to hit me up with a tip, right? It's just the tip? All right, I don't want to, you know, if I keep it at 10, that's pretty good. But uh, at the end of the day, it's 25 total hints available. We've only used 10, and it'll be 11 if I do one here. So that's less than half. That seems like a decent track record, right? So it's, it'll be, dude, it's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this. So Apple tip. Flowers can be taken and placed in flower pots. Simple knowledge. But did you know this causes a block update? Flowers, huh? All right, so I gotta steal a flower from somewhere that has it and put it in another, wait, so there's a flower pot here. A couple flower pots there. There's one that was over here where I went through the map. And then there's gotta be a flower pot that actually has a flower in it somewhere. You're just gonna make it really hard to find, aren't you? Yeah. Is it gonna, wait, is it, hold on. Is it gonna be I like the same area? So if I take these, oh, but it's a pair. Then what if I take this pair and I move it over to the flower pots over here? Because I would assume it's probably a pair, right? Boom. And... No. No, it's not. I mean, why, why would it be the first thing that I attempt to do? It never would be. At least I'm not getting withered right now, so that's nice. But I felt like it's got to be in a place. Oh, wait, what, oh, what if it's over here? Oh, what if I just have to transfer one to the other? That was easy. That was that was easy. I just didn't think about the flower thing. I should have thought about the flower thing, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, jeez. Golden Apple Room is uh fancy. Rip Preston, nineteen ninety four to two thousand nine. Did something happen to Preston that I'm not aware of? Dude, I saw him at Gaming Summit. He seemed okay. He seemed like he was in good health. Preston, I'm sorry that I'm sorry it had to end this way, dude. Sorry something happened since Gaming Summit, bro. Congrats, you found all 25 rooms. I mean, it might have taken a little bit of help from you, my man. That was cool. That was great. Those were quality. My goodness, bro. Felt like a little subsection of Diversity 4, for sure. Um, click on the sign to check out the unused ideas. Uh, oh, click here to visit all the unused ideas. You know what? I'll leave that so that maybe you can be interested in checking out the map yourself, I'll leave a link uh, in the description, a little bonus, to encourage people to check it out, because this was some really, really cool work. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. Again, if you missed the first episode and you want to catch it, link in the description. Um, also, uh, the first map, the first secret rooms map as a whole, that's linked as well. 
Uh, like if you liked, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and uh, playlist for more maps is down there if you uh, haven't gotten enough. All right, I'll see you next time.